Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here, and in this video, I will be discussing Todoist, a powerful tool designed to help you manage your tasks and projects efficiently. In this tutorial, I will cover the following topics to help you get started with Todoist. First, I will explore how to get started with Todoist, including creating an account and understanding the basics of the platform. Next, I will provide an overview of the dashboard, highlighting the key features and sections that you need to know to navigate Todoist effectively. Finally, I will discuss how to add tasks in Todoist. I will also cover the plans and pricing options available, helping you make an informed decision about which plan is best for your needs. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of Todoist and how to use it to boost your productivity and achieve your goals. So let's get started. To get started with Todoist, visit the official website or click on the first link in the description. Once on the homepage, click on the Start for Free button to sign up for a new account. If you already have an account, you can simply log in. However, to help you understand how to get started with Todoist, we'll sign up for a new account. Once you click the Start for Free button, you will have a few different options to sign up with. You can choose to sign up with Google, Facebook, Apple ID, or your email address. Choose the option that's easiest for you. After selecting your sign-up method, personalize your account by following the on-screen prompts. After completing the sign-up process, you'll be taken to your Todoist account dashboard. This is where you'll be able to start managing your tasks and projects and exploring the many features that Todoist has to offer. The Todoist dashboard has a clean, minimalist design that prioritizes productivity. The main interface is divided into two primary sections, the left sidebar and the main content area. The left sidebar serves as the navigation hub, providing access to various features and task categorization options. The top of the left sidebar features your user profile, which can be managed by clicking on the profile icon. Next to the profile icon, a drop-down menu offers additional options, including settings management, team edition, activity log, management, and a lot more. This menu provides quick access to essential account settings and features. Below the profile section, the Add Task button enables quick task entry. This button allows you to swiftly add tasks as they come to mind, making it easy to capture ideas and reminders. The search bar is located below the Add Task button, allowing you to find specific tasks and manage across your account. This feature is particularly useful when dealing with numerous tasks and projects, as it enables you to quickly locate specific items. The Inbox section appears below the search bar, displaying the number of tasks pending review. This section serves as a holding area for tasks that need to be organized or assigned to specific projects. You can add your tasks into your inbox as they come to mind and later drag and drop them into appropriate projects. The Today section likely organizes tasks due on the current day. The number of tasks due today is displayed next to the Today label. This section helps you focus on urgent tasks and stay on top of deadlines. In the top right corner of the dashboard, you'll find options to change the view between a list and a board. Clicking the view option opens a small window with two primary options, list and board. You can choose the view that suits your preferences. Below the view options, you'll find sorting features that allow you to organize tasks by different criteria, such as grouping and sorting. These options allow you to customize the display of your tasks based on your specific needs. Filter options are also available, allowing further customization of task display based on assignee, priority, and label. These filters help you narrow down your task list, making it easier to focus on specific tasks and projects. The upcoming section is where you can see all of your future tasks, providing a clear overview of what's on the horizon. Any tasks added here will also appear in your inbox unless you assign them to a specific project, making it easy to keep track of upcoming tasks and deadlines. This section is designed to help you plan and prepare for the future, ensuring you stay on top of your tasks and projects. The Filters and Labels section allows you to customize your view of tasks using filters and labels for better sorting and organization. This feature is particularly useful when dealing with numerous tasks and projects as it enables you to quickly narrow down your task list and focus on specific tasks. You can create custom filters and labels to suit your needs, making it easy to prioritize and manage your tasks. The My Projects section is where you can find all your user-defined projects. When you add a project, it will appear under this section, making it easy to access and manage your projects. For example, you might have a project called Home with an icon suggesting a personal category with five tasks. You can also hide projects that you have created by hovering over My Projects and clicking on the drop-down menu that appears next to it. This feature is useful for when you have multiple projects and want to focus on a specific one. At the bottom of the dashboard, you'll find the option to add a team, implying collaboration features that allow you to work with others on tasks and projects. This feature is perfect for team projects or shared responsibilities making it easy to assign tasks and track progress. The interface of the Todoist dashboard is designed for simplicity and efficiency, allowing you to quickly add, find, and manage tasks. Each section is thoughtfully placed for intuitive use, and the overall look is modern and very user-friendly. 
The clean design makes it easy to navigate and use the dashboard, even for those who are new to task management tools. Now, let's see how to add a task in Todoist. Adding a task in Todoist is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few steps. To begin, click on the Add Task button located to the left sidebar of the Todoist dashboard. This button is typically represented by a plus icon and the words Add Task next to it. Once you click on the Add Task button, a small window will appear in the main area of the interface. In this window, you can enter all the details of your task. Start by typing the name of the task into the Task Name field at the top of the window. This should be a brief summary of the task you want to complete. Then, you can add a more detailed description in the Description field below the task name. This is where you can provide additional context or information about the task. If you want to assign the task to today's date, you can leave the today tag that appears by default. To choose another date, you can remove the today tag and select a new date from the calendar that appears. This allows you to schedule tasks for specific days or deadlines. To set the priority level of the task, click on the priority flag icon. This default setting may not have a priority selected, allowing you to choose from the available options. You can select from low, medium, or high priority, depending on the importance of the task. If you wish to add reminders, you can click on the Reminders option. Note that this feature requires upgrading your account to a premium subscription. Reminders can be set for specific times or intervals, ensuring you never miss a deadline or task. After you add the reminder, you'll see three dots next to the Reminder option representing more options. These include Labels, Location, Add Extension, and Edit Task Actions. You can use these options to further customize your task and add additional details or features. By default, the tasks will be added to the Inbox. To change this, click on the drop-down menu next to Inbox and assign it to the task to a different project. This allows you to organize your tasks into specific categories or projects, making it easier to manage your workflow. To complete the task creation, click the Add Task button at the bottom right of the window. If you decide not to add the task, you can click the Cancel button instead. Once you've added the task, it will appear in your Todoist dashboard where you can track its progress and manage its details. When it comes to pricing, Todoist offers three plans that cater to the needs of various users, ensuring that everyone can find a plan that suits their requirements. The beginner plan is free and includes a range of features such as five personal projects, smart quick add, flexible list, and board layouts, three filter views, and one week of activity history. This plan is ideal for individuals who want to try out Todoist features without committing to a paid plan. Additionally, it includes integration with email, calendar, and more, making it a great option for those who want to manage their tasks and projects efficiently. The Pro plan costs $5 per month and includes everything in the beginner plan, plus additional features such as 300 personal projects, calendar layout, task reminders and duration, 150 filter views, and unlimited activity history. This plan is suitable for individuals who need more features and flexibility to manage their tasks and projects. The AI Assistant feature in this plan helps users prioritize tasks and make the most of their time. The business plan costs $8 per member per month and includes everything in the Pro plan plus additional features such as a shared team workspace, up to 500 team projects, calendar layout for team projects, 1,000 team members and guests, 1,000 project folders, team roles and permissions, and centralized team billing. This plan is designed for teams and businesses that need to collaborate and manage multiple projects simultaneously. The features in this plan ensure that teams can work efficiently and effectively with clear roles and permissions to ensure accountability. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful in learning how to use Todoist. To get started, you can find the link in the video description. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will always do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.